Good morning, everybody out there. It's Sunday at 9.45 a.m. Eastern. Kind of an odd time to be hopping on live, but I have these whiteboards I want to share, and I need to use them again um, early this week, so no time like the present. All right, so I'm here to do a whiteboard session highlights reel, and um, everything I'm about to share is... Uh, is with permission, so I just want to make sure you guys know that, that I'm, I'm not out here just talking about stuff without getting super clear that it's all right for me to be doing so. Um, and this whiteboard session was with Steph Godro of stupideasypaleo.com. I encourage you, if you do not know her work, to head over there and hop on board, because for the past five years, Steph has been... Um, at the heart of an incredibly beautiful and powerful movement to support women in their health, wellness, strength. Um, her work is really founded on four very powerful pillars of food, movement, uh, energy, and mindset. And our work this past week was really, this particular session will feel very relevant if you feel like you are at the heart of something big. And that's really what she is. She is at the heart of this movement, um, at the heart of this business. And when you're in that position, it can be very easy to lose the forest for the trees, to kind of get so caught up in daily decisions and action steps and creation that um, it's not uncommon to kind of lose sight of the bigger picture. And our whiteboard session was really around giving her the space to do that, to zoom out, get this like 30,000 foot view of everything that's going on because she's entering this period of transition and growth and really sharing things in a new and cohesive way. And, um, and, and that's what, what this conversation and our week together is about is finding clarity in that. So, when we got when we first got on the call what i wanted to do because sometimes if you're just holding on to all kinds of ideas if there's just so much going on what you really need first is a space to just kind of dump it all out i, I like to think about it as like taking a bunch of legos and dumping them on a tray in front of you you know but rather than having them in this box it's just to give them some space to breathe so i really want like What's going on? Tell me everything. So uh, the first whiteboard in there, too. This was a two whiteboard session. Um, the first part of our conversation was around unpacking all of those parts and giving Steph the chance to get just kind of say, listen, my my work is built on these four four pillars. Um, and I kind of, you know, I started writing, writing them over here. And those four pillars are like different on ramps. They, they feed into this much bigger and much deeper picture. And we called it like the purpose beyond. Um, that was something that she said that I wrote down. Um, but one of the things that, you know, she wanted to get clear on was how to find cohesion between um, these, I don't want to use rules necessarily, but kind of clear suggestions, um, approaches, tactics based on her learning, on her expertise, how to really find coherence between those those steps that can be very line linear and on the surface, and this deeper um, uh, message of self-reliance and personalization and not following all the rules that are out there, but really learning about yourself and what works best for you. So this was a lot of unpacking of that. Um, this theme of wanting to explore freedom within boundaries, of how to have pathways, but then they lead towards um, a kind of a spirit of not having constraint and really being able to wander. Hi, Laurel. Um, you know, this energy of wanting to have kind of choose your own adventure around things, but, but here's how your adventure could begin, right? Starting with these four pillars. And her wanting to just really figure out like what or put words on what the long game is because she knew it in her heart like she comes from this energy of authenticity and spirit and she knows but to put that into words and in a way that can be shared with her audience was really what we were trying to find so we came up i put up here i started writing in red because we came up with this metaphor of disneyland right when you go to disneyland disneyland has all these different lands adventureland and tomorrowland and then in, in la there's california adventures and when you first go to Disneyland, you kind of it's you kind of experience it from the outer level. You're like, well, I guess I'll try this land today, or I'm going to go to this land or this land. 
but you get captured by something that you can't put into words. You get captured by this spirit, this, this kind of untouchable intention behind the experience that's different than the experience at Universal Studios. It's different than the experience at, at um, Magic Mountain or Six Flags. But there's just this thing behind it. But you experience it kind of on this surface level. But then when you come back again and again and again, you start to see how all of the parts are interconnected and you start to really understand what the, that message is that Disney is bringing into the experience for you. So I kind of said to Steph, I'm like, it's almost like you have Disneyland out there and you want people to come in and explore the lands, but also at the same time be brought into the deeper story that you're trying to share. So some of her, the, the, the bigger parts and the deeper parts that she's looking at is how to get out of your own way, how to bring your own power back, how to start listening to your inner voice, how to tap back into your own personal power. I'm telling you, if you're not in her world, you need to get into her world. <laughs> she's doing amazing work. It's incredible. Um, so then after kind of getting this big picture look, we started to dive into the specifics. So that's where we get to our second board. So hold on. All right, now the second board is a true example of how in these whiteboard sessions, we kind of create a secret language. Like this whiteboard, you know, you guys can look at it and analyze and stuff, but, but to Steph, it's like, she gets what all these little pieces mean. Okay, so each one is different, which is what makes it cool. Oh, yeah, totally a two-border. It's Steph, Laurel. Of course it's going to be a two-border. There was so much that came out of it. It was fun. Um, okay, so this is now where we started to try and put all these ideas into pictures because I am ai have experienced it myself, the power that can come from trying to take words that feel really connect, you know, disconnected and turn them into pictures. Um, so we really started to explore that. And one of, one of the first things we did too was just stick with this question of how to create con connectedness between these outer kind of um, on-ramps into her, her, her work, right? Which is usually, you know, kind of these micro steps, bullet points, suggestions, ideas. Um, it felt very linear kind of to help people start understanding the the deeper themes right the the parks or the different lands in Disneyland how to connect those things to this deeper work that she's really and this message that she's bringing into the world um we both you know we both used to be science teachers so we can really geek out on that stuff and it was almost like if you if you've studied biology you can learn about food chains right? A food chain is just the order in which energy moves through, right? A, a series of organisms. What eats what? There's food chains, which is pretty simple to understand, but food chains are part of a, a much more complicated uh, and deeper holistic picture of what an ecosystem is. And to explain what an ecosystem is, just like to explain what an ecosystem is just requires a depth of understanding and sticking with, with, with something. So how to just create that transition between the linear, you know, more micro outer parts of her work and this deeper ecosystem that she's trying to bring into people's lives. And then we just started to kind of map out how to potentially put those ideas together. We, we had these, you know, sideways, um, she started talking about cones and instead of moving up, maybe it's on its side. So I just drew a cone out on its side. Um, then we started to kind of mind map, like, well, what if, you know, how can we connect those four pillars or show that, you know, if you explore her, her work through the, you know, through the on-ramp of food, how that can then lead into deepening your understanding of your energy and how you bring that into, you know, how you uh, keep your energy high and, you know, sleep and, and just noticing different rhythms in your body. Um, movement right how does that then connect how does that all connect with mindset and so representing her work as more of a web right or this beautiful cloud we then moved on to like i was thinking of electrons around a nucleus um again just taking these 
concrete themes. That's right. It's like a food web in science. But even a food web is part of just this much deeper picture of how things actually work in an ecosystem. Um, and really helping put into words this, um, this idea of building an ecosystem of your life. Um, how to be healthy and well in your body and soul, and connecting these seemingly disparate parts into something more cohesive and whole. And as a result of our conversation, um, Steph was really able to walk away and in these it, during this week and in the time following and in these next days, is really able to take something that felt very nebulous but was there the whole time, and now there's a clarity around it. And there's a way to organize ideas and to um, move forward with a deepened sense of like mission and purpose that can clearly be articulated to her audience. Um, I'm incredibly excited to see what she continues to create as a result of this. And yeah, <laughs> I'd love to know your comments, your questions. Please leave them uh, to the side. Um, if if the idea of a whiteboard session is something that interests you, especially if you're feeling like you've got you're having a hard time seeing the forest for the trees, you're so caught up in the details that you've lost sense of this bigger picture, then this kind of conversation could very much um, really serve where you're at. So uh, feel free to leave a comment if you're interested in knowing more or send me a message and I'll get that information to you. So, all right. Laurel says, I can't wait to see what she does next. Laurel, I'm telling you, it's just, I think, I think you've only seen the tip of the iceberg with the work that she's up to. And, and it truly is like that I, that I can be on her team and, and helping her do that is just, is really, I mean, it's, I'm incredibly honored every time we have the chance to talk and work together. So. Yay! All right, Laurel, thank you for being here. Christine, hello, I see you. I know you came in a little late. I'm signing off, but watch from the beginning because the work that, that Steph is up to is, is definitely definitely something to, to keep your eyes on. So, All right, you're all awesome. Talk to you soon. Have a good rest of your weekend. <laughs>